Um, well, they got some obviously good players, like every team. Um, you know, they can score goals, and uh, their defense. They got some really good def young defensemen that um, you know they're they they activate really well offensively, jump up to play a lot. An aggressive team. Elaine Vigneault's teams are always aggressive. Um, put pressure on you everywhere. So, I mean, it's like any other game, guys. It's just. It's it's going to be a tough game, like they're all they all are, and you know it's we got to play our game and get to our game and focus on what we're going to do. They got uh, I think they're second in the league in goals scored by defensemen, mm -hmm. and uh, they got a couple guys like that on the power play defensemen that are pretty active. Yeah, Sanheim and Proveroff, they you know they're they're probably their two uh, best out there that um, you know and get involved offensively. But they all can skate in their D and move so. It's uh, you know it, it it's a challenge that uh, you know we got to do a good job you know they they really hammer down walls um, in the offensive zone so we got to be good on the walls tonight and make little plays underneath and just do a good job in that area so we get the puck out of our end and and get to the offensive zone. Have you had a chance to say hi to Mike Yo or are you just locked in? I didn't see him no no. It's, Going for 11 in a row at home, I know for the fans, it's probably nice. Uh, for you guys, it don't mean probably, it's just, it's a today's game, but just, what's it mean, 11 in a row at home? Um, well, no, it's not 11, but I don't know. I don't know what number it is, to be honest with you, and just, we're just trying to win another game at home. I mean, we played well at home uh, for quite some time now, and again, it's, uh, you know, our last home game before the break, so, you know, it's you know we got to keep doing what we're doing. That's it doesn't really change. Just we've been playing really good 200 foot hockey, and you know defensively we've been solid at home. And I think just the north south game at home. I thought I said before um, this you know playing better at home. We were playing too much of an east west game at home compared to the road. But I think that's changed when we played a north south game at home and a more direct game at home. And as a result of it, we've had more wins. What, what is broken that happen? Is that you kind of harping on? Like I don't know. I mean, we harp on it, and we try to, you know, you know, talk about it quite a bit. But I think the players have just bought into that mindset. So um, it's all about the players buying into it and, and wanting to do the, you know, what's needed to win. Craig, big picture, uh, as the team continues to progress this season, what are some things that have been so rewarding to you as a coach and the staff? Um, well, <laughs> we like winning games. That's about it. That's been rewarding to win. Yeah. I mean, we all want to win, right? Everybody that's in the organization and the players and everything, it's about winning. And, uh, you know, so far it's been it's been a good good year that way. But, again, I keep saying it, like, we got to keep getting better. And, it's you know, that's what you got to do. you got to keep your foot on the gas pedal and keep pushing. Chris, you have yeah, he's been a good player here. I mean, I, I think because he's took taken a physical approach. Uh, we talked to him about that being more physical and getting involved physically, and he's done that. He he's a you know he's the type of guy he plays and he, he if he can play with that edge a little bit, he becomes a better player. And I found I found that since um, with the injury to Perinko um, and his movement up there. Um, his game's elevated, and I think that's a big part of it. Being just more direct, more physical. You mentioned the other day uh, just about missing him in the lineup and then other guys are going to have to step up and take some of that defensive responsibility. Do you feel like he's yeah, paying more attention to that? that yeah, definitely, definitely. But, I, you know, in saying that, it's being more aggressive and more physical. And he's done that, and he's he's done a good job there, and, and uh, they've been a good pair. Why do you think? Well, it's conversations we've had with him. We've been, you know, that we, you know, when he does play like that, he's a better player, and he's just got to find more consistency in doing it all the time, and that's all. Nothing more than that. Craig, Brendan Shen had that fast start goal scoring wise, maybe tailed off a little bit. But, uh, are, are you you happy with what he's doing and, and his uh, play this year? Yeah, definitely. He's been a real good player all year, I think. Um, you know, I mean, goal scorers, they're, they're going to be streaky at times, all of them. Well, maybe.
maybe not Ovechkin, but a lot of them. And but he's still making plays, creating and, and creating for us. And you know, he got two assists last game, setting plays up. So he's doing a good job all around. I think. Um, I think that line with Sunquist on there since we moved there, they've been they've been a good line and they've they played some good hockey for us. Shen's a guy, he's a guy that plays a little bit. Of yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Coach, would you say the All Star break is coming at a perfect time for your team to kind of rest up and heal up a bit? Well, I mean, I think the break's good. I think um, it's a long year, and, and you know, like again. I'm not saying it's a good time or a bad time or whatever. It's just whatever. I mean, I don't, we're banged up a little bit, but I mean, I could take it either way, to be honest with you. I don't really have, you know, a right answer, wrong answer. I mean, the break's the break. And, you know, when when you know where it is in a schedule, everybody's looking forward to it, your players. So we just got to make sure we're not looking forward to it too soon. Craig, another coach uh, today, the NHL, uh, owners or management have less patience with coaches. Is that just the way it is in, in the, your profession? Well, it seems that way. So, I mean, I don't really have a. I don't really know what to say about it, to be honest with you. It's just that's the game. There's a the crazy profession I've chosen to get into. I mean, well, I enjoy it. So, I mean, it's part of the job. If you know. You, at some point, they, you know, you're probably going to get let go. Coach, for whatever reason, last year, different factors with Jake Allen. He struggled playing at home, but this year he's doing well. Another great start for him. I know Jordan Biddington is in goal tonight, but how nice is it this season that you're able to kind of interchange them a little bit more? It doesn't matter if it's home or away. Yeah, I think it's better this year than it was last year for sure in that department. I thought that we used Jake a lot in the road last year in the second half of the season. He did a great job, you know, won a lot of games for us. Um, <clears throat> and this year, I think just like I said, our, our whole um, mindset at home has changed and that's that's going to help your goaltender. That's just basically, you know, I think it's the whole team and Jake's had success because of it too.